Hey guys, we're back in the museum in the Louisiana Memorial Pavilion. Behind me is the C-47 Skytrain. Now this plane is actually pretty similar to the commercial aircraft, the DC-3. The major additions were a cargo door, strengthened floor, and hooks to pull gliders. They were used during the war for transport of troops and cargo. About 10,000 were made by Douglas Aircraft during the war. They typically had a crew of four and could carry 27 others. This very aircraft flew paratroopers to France on and just after D-Day. C-47s delivered around 50,000 paratroopers for the invasion of Normandy. It also pulled the gliders that were very important on D-Day and other actions. The C-47 was powered by two of the famous Pratt and Whitney twin WASP engines. These radial engines have 14 cylinders with 1,200 horsepower each. The plane had a cruising speed of 160 miles per hour, could fly at 26,000 feet, and go as far as 1,600 miles before refueling. Like almost all other World War II aircraft, it didn't have a pressurized cabin. So it was very cold on board, and the crew and passengers had to use oxygen masks.